and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Zed Shen. Going to be our first deck today. Have this labeled as a donation deck, but as y'all know, we have played this quite a bit on stream now. Um, but did get a donation to see some more of the deck, you know, to, to have it go through some more games. As y'all know, we are currently 15 and 0 our last times playing it. Um, I still think it's very unlikely that we'll go another 5-0, right? Like, we, we got to start, you know, with that that luck has got to start turning. Because we play a lot of close games with this that, that we have been pretty fortunate with this deck. Um, but it's it's a really good one to play. Challenger is still, in my opinion, the best mechanic in the game and you know, therefore also, like, the most underrated mechanic. I, I, think mechan I think just Challenger is super, super strong. This deck's got plenty of it and um, has some really good good uh tricks stand united super underrated and just surprises people people aren't really used to playing against stand united people aren't really used to playing against shen especially leveled up shen with the plus three plus zero and we get a lot of kind of cheap wins of like the opponents not really knowing what our cards can do and uh surprise them and get some some uh wins that way the matchup that we have not really faced Frostbite midrange. We only did one time. My opponent had a pretty bad hand in the Frostbite midrange. Like, they didn't do anything turn two, turn three, stuff like that. They had a pretty bad hand. Um, and we won that one, of course, because, uh, you know, we haven't lost yet. But other people playing the deck say that's a really tough matchup, and, and it, it really would be. I mean, like, Culling Strike gets through your barriers. Um, you know, that's that's probably just a really difficult matchup. I People keep asking on YouTube, like, what's what's a good deck against Frostbite midrange? And I, I don't know the answer to that different people say different things but i don't really believe any of them <laughs> i don't know the answer to anything that's that's actually they can actually consistently beat um frostbite midrange but that's just uh my opinion with how strong that deck is anyway um let's play some zed shen let's hopefully get paired against you know if we have a ton of success against like the lucian misfortune decks and just like smaller unit decks like with our ability to challenge and, and uh win combat and everything like that let's get paired against those kind of decks let's uh here we go looks like we're starting off michael jordan 23 <laughs> and we're gonna be playing some from Zed Shen. So that's that's always an option, you know, for donation decks. If there's a deck that, that y'all really like and you want to see again, that's always an option for donation decks. Besides this, we got three other donation decks. We got a different version of War Mother Lux. We played War Mother Lux six days ago. You wouldn't think that there'd be like different versions, but there is another version that had a different person donate for. So we're going to be trying that one out. And I don't know. I kind of like keeping a second Shen and, you know, basically have it be Stand United. I mean, I like this, and then I kind of want Stand United turn five, where I don't do anything turn one. So I save one mana, and then we have turn two, turn three, turn four. So then turn five, we'd have five mana plus this extra one. Like six, and that could sweat. be a nice Stand United. Um, what else do we have today? We got Spooky Quinn. That one looks pretty interesting. That's going to be using a lot of challengers there in Demacia and Shadow Isles. It's going to be Maokai creating those saplings. Get bloody, get paid. So Maokai with um, uh, Quinn. Don't stand in my way. Hard to get rich. Hmm. This is tough. Zed or Protege. Do not fear the shrouded path. Uh, and then we have Spider Aggro, which is gonna be Elise and Darius. Not Darius, sorry, Draven. Elise and Draven. And uh, being pretty aggressive with those, you know, crowd favorite vision, that kind of stuff with Noxus. The Feather Tracker is great. We both want what is best for Ionia. And the Feather Tracker is great. It. I'm most scared of Fury of the North right now. Let's get enough Fury of the North. So I go. Feel the sizzle! Can't fight on an empty stomach! I'm 
my first gum fight. Looks like they're gonna be casting Mega Rain. Say your farewells. Trying to pop the Ooh, War Chef's idea. barrier. Failed. No one goes that worked out for me. No. And I didn't even take damage to help level up Sejuani. So that was the perfect Mega Rain for me. Now these are both vulnerable. They have the Challenger also. So that's not great, but Stand United should should do some work. Fortune favors the uh, that is not as uh alright, so. Hmm. Hmm. That's rough. Misfortune's great against Barrier, for obvious re reasons. Um, so I can't protect Zed no matter what I do. Like, like if they just challenge Zed with Fleet Feather Tracker, Zed's gonna die I, if I use a... I mean, I guess I can go stand you... Mm. So this has them having three cards and nothing in play, and me having five cards and a Shen in play. So. Oh, okay. We still have like these these barriers will be good against like a Sejuani. If there's a potential Sejuani. Every wave is a path. Hmm. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. Bounty ball knows me nine. I sense an imbalance. Uh -huh. Obviously, don't want the 2 4 to be able to block the 3 2. So that's three out of four barriers for Shen. I unfortunately have. Only have nine mana, not enough for Stand United and Repost. Let's get to it. This is our way. I'll stop you. I'll close my eyes, make it fair. I don't know what order these are going to do. The balance has been maintained. As far as the plus three, plus zero, it looks like it's giving it to the Shen. Well, that's too bad. Understood. I don't know if I would have if I would have targeted them the other way would have been different. I don't know. Sense an imbalance. 
Protect and strike. Pause there, bam. So we should have this one. Looking uh, fairly good. Even if this is like Riptide Rex, like we're still probably just fine even if that's Riptide Rex, because I can have another Shen replace this vulnerable Shen. One and O. Oh. Shen's just underrated. Yeah, they had a pretty decent curve, didn't they? That's true. They had one drop and and one drop, two drop, misfortune on three. Did they have mis no, they didn't have misfortune on three. They had like misfortune on four. Or five. Maybe it was actually turn five they played Misfortune, because I was able to play the Concerted Strike to kill the Misfortune. So I guess it was turn five. Yeah, because they went like one drop, then Hired Gun, then I think Hired Gun again. So they had an alright hand. My hand was great. You know, War Chefs into Zed, into, into Shen, into Concerted Strike. My hand was great. All right, well, here's the bad matchup. Uh, it's true. They went... Turn three was Petty Officer that got Fleet Feather Tracker. That is true. Um, I'm keeping the War Chef Zed, obviously. Um, so what do I want to do with Barrier and Protégé? I don't hate either one. Culling Strike is the card I want to see the least paired with. I guess, like, Brittle I mean, I guess technically, like, Brittle Steel is probably even worse. Two saboteurs from petty officers on the same match. That is pretty great. Cause yeah, cause see, I I can go and pump up this Zed, but if they just go, if they have brittle steel, or I guess even elixir of iron, either either brittle steel or elixir of iron. Uh, it's definitely hoping they didn't have trapper. Like, I could go to three health and get above the two one, and that was fine. Avros and trapper is a mess. I don't even know if I can attack. Like, I don't think I can. That was quite unfortunate. I think, I think you know, like, we have to wait for some kind of protection. Because just the, the blowout potential is there. We both want what is best for Ionia. And only one of us pursues them. Winter, take you! For glory! Wow. You're mine! Is that 
good. Break their spirits and their swords. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. My shield is yours. Look out for Reavers. I still, I don't really want the three three to be able to eat the warships for free, which is why I went this route. Zed's out of calling strike range for now, which is good. And you know, they have to use frostbite plus calling strike to kill it. I'll cut them apart. Face me. You're mine. This deck's good. This deck's good. Remember me. have anything good to do. Frostbite midrange deck is just much better than everything else. Good news is I like us against I like us basically against any other deck, but that that deck just matches up so well against us in such a wide variety of ways. It's just it's, it's really difficult to beat. We have to get quite lucky to win that one. Okay, Draven Leeson. I think I'll like my chances against Draven Lee Sin if we can have an, an, you know, another solid curve out that uh, 
opening hand didn't really look like that. I would like a... Let's see if we get a War Shafts here. That would be my best card to draw. Mm. Probably don't want to just throw down Bright Seal Protector as just a generic 3-2. I was, I was honestly hoping that they would pass and wait for me to attack first, and then I would have just passed back. Like, I, was, I wasn't actually going to attack for two. I was hoping they didn't play the Draven this turn. I'll save this three mana for next turn where I can go Shen and Spirit's Refuge. I have the best job. Two worlds. Or it looks like one Shen balance. and Prismatic Barrier, like either one of those now. It's a great card. As it had to be. I demand satisfaction. Uh -huh. Spring raindrops. Oh, play it. I'm going to hold on to this mana again for this next turn. If I play Prismatic Barrier, I'd have seven mana this turn. Which right could be a little up. awkward if we want to play like Shen, just don't get to do anything else. This is my opponent. try to take the Draven down with us. Well, guess not. That's a leveled up Lee Sin now. But the good news is they only have two cards. That's the good news. The wood can't fight back, but I can't. obviously a problem because of the uh, dragon's rage the dragon himself they can play 
you know, they at least have like these spinning axes that they'll be able to play. Got your back. Um, so my plan is like the stand united. Our enemies cannot hide. My land. Prepare yourself. They probably need to go the plus two. Or let's see. This is a, a an amazing hand for the Draven Lee Sin deck. This is a deck that it doesn't usually look this good. Is all in the mind. Um, but they did have kind of the strongest stuff they have. Problem is, how do I kill this Lee Sin? That's the problem. How do I kill that thing? Okay. I think we figured it out. Now... Am I playing Zed? Or am I playing Prismatic Barrier? Oh, that's still... That's not going to kill... It's not gonna kill Lee Sin, is it? I guess I guess we have to play Spirit's Refuge or we lose. My strength is yours. Yeah, I guess we're just forced to playing Spirit's Refuge. I will not hold back. You started your train. War does that. Because obviously, if I challenge Lee Sin, they play Spinning Axe, and um, Lee Sin gets Barrier, so it doesn't do any damage. Um, I think I have to challenge the other two things. Their pride will cost them. Hold nothing back. Because. Like, I, I, I can't do 7 damage anyway. Like, if I challenge once, it gets barriered, and then if I challenge again, it's not 7 damage. Was the last card? <sighs> Come on. I mean, our so my only hope is drawing Concerted Strike. That's my only hope. We have what two more Concerted Strikes in the deck? No, we have one. We have one Concerted Strike in the deck. Literally, no other card does anything. Crazy. I did, I did. Whenever we got paired against this, I didn't think that we were losing at all. You like, I I just don't think that we would lose this matchup very often at all. But their hand was unbelievable. I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm just complaining. Conflict is all in the mind. Yes. Go center your spirit. I don't Prepare think that a barrier yourself. saves me. I mean, I guess I might as well try, but I don't think that anything with a barrier saves me. You shall go no yeah, like we're taking. Yeah, we're going to negative eight. Yeah, because it's just Dragon's Rage and then Overwhelm. It's still negative 8, like that doesn't do anything. Wow, unbelievable. I mean, I've had a lot of I've had a lot of success with the deck, but also a lot of luck with the deck, so um, you know, opponents need to get some luck too. But that was that's playing face up with your deck of what's the best possible things I can have all the time. Like, let me just have 
the entire deck in my hands at my disposal. Sort of luck. Alright, so we're not... We don't have the attack token on turn 3. So I'm going to mulligan... I have to mulligan one of these. Um, we're playing against elusives. I definitely want protege. And so it's just turn four. Which one of these do I want to play? Do I want to play a Shen, start getting the barrier, or do I want to play a Zed? A Zed attacks for more, puts more pressure on him. Um, so I think I have to go that route. This is weird. Almost always I'd be, like, this is like the one of the only times I'd be mulliganing Shen, to be honest. Um, this is a, you know, aggressive deck where challenging is really important and also life total pressure very important. And so keeping Zed as my turn four play with the life total pressure over Shen. Nothing now, Shen does, you know, does keep the protege alive. I have a Rosen Sentry. Do not fear the shrouded path. Have a Rosen Sentry is not what you see in... this deck. I am the blade in the darkness. Do I want to... I could have single. I could have the living shadow fight single combat wise. I could keep my two one around. Then my Zed doesn't level up. That was basically the reason why I didn't do that. Um. This land is ours. Stead. We'll Barrier block this Zed. Of course, we have Concerted Strike 2. So Concerted Strike plus Barrier should be fine. This doesn't seem like a, a very... This doesn't really seem like an Elusives deck. I was definitely expecting an Elusives deck. But it doesn't, it doesn't really seem like one. Okay, so I'm blocking here with the Zed instead of the Protégé so that Elixir of Iron uh, still kill through that. Okay, GG's. RZ takes over. So in the Z battle, we had removal, they didn't. Um, we also had the challengers to, to help RZ strike them, they didn't. And there we go, alright, GG's. Two and two. Bilgewater as or Bilgewater PNZ with just Twisted Fate, no Ezreal. This is interesting. We're gonna mulligan the refuge and keep the rest. Yeah, they didn't they didn't play a single elusive, so I don't know if that was an, 
don't know if that was an Elusive's deck or not. Protector out with having another and having kind of a high curve. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Do not fear the shrouded path. All right, we got a little bit of protection for Zed with the refuge and the repost. Basically, I think it's a good chance that Zed's going to die. And if Zed does die here, which I think is a good chance, I would I would rather have Repost for later than Spirit's Refuge for later. They played Get Excited, Discard, Make It Rain. Wow, that was a big mistake. They could have just played Make It Rain, because Make It Rain would have dealt the three damage. It would have just gotten rid of the barrier on its own. Like, could have, they could have just cast Make It Rain. They could still have Get Excited in their hands. not the correct play. These woods protect their own. Because so like the Mega Rain would have got rid of the barrier and then the Mystic Shot would have dealt uh, lethal damage the afterwards. Requires a watchful eye. Heavy pockets, huh? Better than eat. Quiet of the woods, there's nothing like it. Lure of the depths. Lure of the Depths is underplayed. It must be done. Does that card deserve to see more playtime than it than it does? Maybe. One good turn, hey friendo. So this is just costing two damage on Shen normally, not three, because remember it's got the buff from Genevieve that it was gonna be going back down to a three-five anyway. So it's just two damage on Shen to get the three-three out of play.
Um. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. I do need to be a little worried about Riptide Rex. And maybe playing another 3-2 isn't the best idea to do this pre you know before attacking. Danger paid. Okay. I really wish I had two more mana and I could play Stand United and Repost. We would be looking great if we could do that. Their pride will cost them. So seven out of eight for Twisted Fate. Didn't quite get there. That's good news. Here's a big one. Enforced equilibrium. My steel is yours. Hold nothing back. So I only have nine damage. No matter what I do, like stand united or repost, I have nine damage. I guess they were they were tapped out. I could have gone first blade and then repost. Once once they played that, I yeah I, I could have just gone first blade and then and then repost and yeah I would have just had lethal. So that was dumb of me. Wait, what if I do something with a Genevieve? I guess it, it depends if it depends if Genevieve or this other thing gets the, the bonus, and I, I don't know how to tell which one's gonna get the bonus. Last time I clicked on the, that one first and it didn't work, so maybe I click on this one first? No, 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 I need to click on this first, this second. I don't know. I don't know which order this happens. I can't figure it out. Hey, it worked. Okay, it worked. It was the the thing I got. I clicked on first, got the barrier second. I think. I don't know. It's hard. Like one of them gets a bonus, you know, because my Shen's at three, so one of them counts for the four, and then the other one gets the plus. And so I think it's backwards, which is weird. It's either. So it's either like it's backwards like that because I, I clicked the I clicked the Genevieve first. So you'd think the Genevieve would get the first one and, and would turn Shen into plus you know the four, and then the the second thing would get the bonus. But that's what I did earlier and it didn't work out. Um, so it's either like that you have to click that one first, or it may be a left and right thing. Honestly, it may be the it may I think it may be just like the thing on the left gets the barrier first, even though it moves to the right, and so. Maybe it doesn't matter what order you click them in. I don't know. I, so, I haven't figured that out yet. But it worked out. <laughs> With our, our random test there. It worked out that game. But yeah, you, you think it would be kind of clear of what you're supposed to do. But I don't know what you're supposed to do. Because the thing I clicked first got the barrier second but it was also the thing on the you know it was like the i guess for y'all watching the left got the barrier first and then the right got the barrier second maybe and then they switched spots so maybe it's just a left right thing i don't know i don't know if it's a first second or left right thing yeah so it, it's probably left right that's probably it, because that's that's how it worked last time also. Because the, the previous time I clicked Um I guess I clicked like that also. I guess I did the exact same thing as I just did and and it went 
the other way and I, I wanted the one on the like I wanted the one that started on the left I was moving it to the right I wanted it to get the bonus but it didn't and I clicked this one first and clicked this one second and so I did that same thing as I clicked this one first clicked this one second and they moved and then this one got the bonus again so both times I did the exact same clicking and it got the same the same thing got the bonus so both times the first thing on the right got the bonus and it moved to the left okay so potato says um it's left right okay oh you're welcome Shreve. yeah no thanks thanks for the donation deck here um yeah the frostbite midrange i think is gonna be pretty tough i think uh we ran into one opponent that got super super lucky uh, which was our other loss besides Frostbite midrange. Um, so, you know, a good 18-2 and two now with the deck. Um, you know, 1-1 one one against Frostbite. I think that's a really tough matchup. I think we got really lucky with our one win. And then we're 18-1 and one against everything else with our opponent with the Draven deck getting an insane, you know, insanely lucky with that one. Uh, so yeah, this deck's still super, super solid. Really, I really like the matchup against everything except for Frostbite Midrange, and that's a good spot to be. Even if, even if like the most play deck is your toughest matchup, if you're just solid across the board and good against everything else, your your deck's gonna be just fine. Um, you just gotta accept that those Frostbite ones are gonna be tough. Um, uh, one person, though, whenever we played this deck last time, Nakano, said that, that they've been having some good success against Frostbite. I think he's been having some luck against the Frostbite, but he also, you know, he left a comment on the, the previous YouTube video with this deck um, talking about that matchup. But, uh, anyway, that's Zed Shen. Fun one to play and a really good, solid deck. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And leave those comments. Let me know how it's going for you. Those of y'all that have been checking out the deck, if you've been trying it out, let me know how it's going for you. You have a bunch of like, you know, weird plays and things that are maybe not intuitive. You know, you got some some neat tricks you get to be doing with Stand United and Shen. Hope y'all are uh, having fun with all of that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.